What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're gonna look at toast messages for TTK Bootstrap. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at toast messages for TTK Bootstrap. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my Kinter courses and all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at toast messages. What are toast messages? Well, if you look down there, there it is right there, sort of the bottom of the screen, fades away. We can click it again, hey, it pops back up. Little message, little icon next to it, little Windows thing, and that's what we're gonna look at. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this TTK Bootstrap series, so check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got some basic Kinter starter code that we always have. I'm calling it toasty.py, because we're doing toast messages. And we're importing TTK Bootstrap as TB. We're using the superhero theme, as we always do in these videos, and everything else is pretty much the same. So in order to use these, we actually have to import these. This is a little extra thing in TTK Bootstrap. So we can do that pretty easily. Let's just go from TTK Bootstrap dot toast. We want to import toast notification. And notice the T and the N are capitalized. That's kind of important. So let's come down here and let's create one of these things. I'm just going to call it toast. And this is going to be a toast notification. Again, capital T, capital N. And then inside of here, we can give this a title. So I'm going to say my toast title, whatever. And there's a bunch of different attributes we can play with. After title, obviously, we want a message. And we could say this is a toast message. Woohoo! All right. There we go. And then we can also set a duration if we want. So this is in milliseconds. So if I want three seconds, that would be 3000 milliseconds, right? There we go. And we could also give this an alert. This can be either true or false. I'm going to do true. And this will just give a little ding, a little like system bell whenever the alert pops up. You may want that. You may not. I'll put it on there. I don't even know if you can hear it with the microphone set up here, but you know what a normal Windows system ding is. You know, it goes ding, you know, just it'll do that. So we'll put that as true. And then finally, you could put a position and this is going to be a tuple and it takes three things, horizontal, vertical and anchor. So if you don't put a position at all, if you leave this completely off, it'll just show up in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, that's a little bit of a problem for me because I've got two monitors set up here and I'm recording on the left monitor and the default monitor is my right monitor. So it'll show up on the right monitor and you guys won't be able to see it. So I'm going to move it over 1915 pixels by 30 pixels. And instead of it being in the bottom right, I want to put it in the bottom left. And so that's the Southwest. Now for the anchor position, this last thing, now this is a string and it could be all of the normal sort of directional things in Kinter, North, South, East, West, Northwest, Northeast, Southwest, Southeast, etc. right? So all of those normal things you can use. So we'll just put that like that and that looks good. Now we need something to trigger this thing. So I'm just gonna create a little button. I'm gonna call this my underscore button and it's gonna be a TB dot button. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal what? Click me. <laughs> All right. And let's give this a command of, I don't know, clicker, something like that. And we'll create this function in just a second. For now, let's my underscore button dot pack this guy onto the screen. And let's give this a pad Y of 40 to really push it down the screen a little bit. Okay. So now we can come up here and let's create that function real quick, that clicker function. And in order to show your toast notification, your toast message, you just call the name of it. In this case, it's toast dot show underscore toast. And that's a function. And that's all there is to it. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory. And let's run Python toast dot pi. And when we do, we've got this button here. If we click it, boom, it pops up. After three seconds, it fades away. Now I'm gonna do it again without talking. See if you can hear the little alert ding. Probably not, uh, but one, two, three, boom, it fades away. So that's kind of all there is to it. Now we can take out the duration if we want. 
save this and run it, see what happens then. So we click this, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, just seems to be going on and on. If we click it, it disappears. Or if we click somewhere else in the app, nope, we have to actually click the thing itself. So if you don't have a duration, it'll just be there kind of forever, right? And also we could play around with the position. Remember, this is horizontal and vertical. So if we want it to go up more, I don't know, we can make this 300 or so. We run this. Now it's gonna be way up here. So you can position this anywhere you want on a screen. Remember your screen isn't like everybody else's screen. So you may want to uh, keep that in mind when using a position, but you know, pretty cool. And you see my toast title has a title here in bold. We've got this little windows icon and pretty simple. So remember just import it up here in this first line, toast notification from TDK bootstrap.toast. I know up here we kind of imported everything. Why do we have to keep importing separate things? I don't know, it's just the way it is, <laughs> but uh, pretty simple. Again, just to use it, we call it toast notification. Got your title, your message, your duration. Let me uncomment that out. Alert and position. And of course you don't have to do a position, otherwise it'll just default into the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. The thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes all in one place. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.